to your December general love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. And this reading is not going to resonate with everyone. So take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest, okay? Aries, just wanted to warn you. Um, this definitely is looking like a twin flame situation. So if you are dealing with a twin flame and possible soulmate, um, but mainly twin flame, this might be your reading. So if you resonate with this, this is a special message for you. That's what I am told. All right, last one. Also, Merry Christmas, you guys. <clears throat> Hope you guys are staying safe and are well. Enjoying the holidays. Okay. First card you got is detours. Divine intervention delays and detours. Okay, so something shifted in the situation here. And you got this. This popped out at the same time. We have the divine feminine. Fe, I can't speak. Sorry. Divine feminine and the divine masculine with this, okay? So there's things that are being worked on, okay? Things, the way that you saw it going has shifted and changed. And you are now seeing that it's taking another path. And this is causing fear, anxiety within both of you or one or the other. And Spirit's just wanting you to know that there's a reason for this. There's a reason for everything. So, you know, don't lose hope, right? Romance angel cards you got is separation with stay optimistic about your love life. Absolutely, right? So it looks like you guys are in separation right now, okay? Um, but Spirit's asking you to stay optimistic, okay? There's a reason for this. There's a reason this is happening, and this is, like, really forming to me the twin flame um, situation here in separation. So if you're in separation with your twin flame, uh, this is probably definitely your reading. All right, overall energy. Yes, right? So you're feeling right now, and so is the other person. This is the overarching. This has been really heavy to deal with. This has been burdensome. This is something that needs a lot of work. It's strenuous. This has been like, oh, I just heard, on my mind 24 seven. Okay. So let's get into it and see what's going on in this uh, situation here. Um, let's see what your person is doing right now in regards to you. Somebody likes the Jonas Brothers. I am picking that up very heavily. I think it's Joe Jonas. It doesn't, you don't have to like them, but there's a song maybe they play, they have that you two have, you know, it's your song or you love that song or whatever time it comes on, you think about that person or something like that oh okay I just heard there's also a message so whenever you listen to a Jonas Brothers song a specific song there's something that you know within your intuition that they're actually sending that energy to you okay because people can miss each other and think of songs and then the person can hear it and actually feel that too and if this is twin flame your twin flames always feel that they always get synchronicity uh, synchronistic events, they get numbers, all kinds of things, right? Radio songs. Um, but I don't know if you can see it too. If you look at his face, I think it's Joe Jonas. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with it, but I just keep hearing Jonas Brothers, Jonas Brothers, like yelling, you know? So, um, that's a message for someone. All right. Okay, let's get into it. <clears throat> what is your person doing right now in regards to you? <clears throat> let's see what's going on. Three of Swords, right? They're hurt, they're missing you. Their heart's breaking, I just heard. My heart's broken. Three of Swords, King of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Their heart is breaking right now right they are feeling so stressed out because they love you so much and they don't want to lose you they want reciprocity in the situation they want to um 
for you both to be on the same team and the same side here, okay? Tell me about this Three of Swords. Devil. It's really, it's, oh, it's, okay, yeah, it's toxic. You just heard toxic. Um, but this is telling me that they are so, for, you four cups, wow. This is telling me, though, that this is the dark night of the soul, okay? Usually when twin flames separate, it's working on your own um, self, right? Dark night of the soul, I've been through it. It's really tough, and it's hard to sift through and navigate um, where your emotions are coming from and pinpoint them, right? So we have the Three of Swords, Devil, Four of Cups. This is somebody that's overthinking and overly um, wallowing in the fact that they've lost something. They're not really seeing clearly exactly why they're hurt, okay? That this could be stemmed from a childhood situation um, and they're being triggered by how, what happened with you, okay? I know it's kind of confusing, but for those of you that don't know about Twin Flames, right? Most of you, I think, pretty much do. But this person is overly um, thinking again and again, processing the same things either that somebody said or how the situation went down. There's still continuing to process and over and over, just overanalyzing, right? Tell about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just what I said. They want, um, they want to be able to become a team with you, right? They want reciprocity. Uh, we have King of Cups, Nine of Swords. You know, again, this is somebody that is stressed out. It's like their daily life is disrupted here. They can't think. They can't. Um, they can't do their normal daily stuff. I just heard I have trouble eating. Uh, some of you may have trouble eating too, or vice versa, right? The other person. Okay. Um, let's see this King of Cups, Knight of Swords. These are really tough when you get into the Twin Flame. It's really tough because they go deep, right? And it's uh, Moon, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're just so upset because they don't know. They don't know what's going on with you. They don't know if this is if the opportunity to be together will really truly happen. Um, and we're gonna find out what's happened here, but I wanna get your side of it. So let's see what you're doing right now in regards to your person. All right, six of wands, sun, page of wands. So you're kind of like in this way of, you know what, I kind of see things clearly. So you might be on the spectrum of You've been through your dark night of the soul. You've been through the left tough lessons. And you see now your twin going through it. Like, this tells me that maybe the twin was awakened, right? And maybe did not know about it and is now going through all this stuff and they're just trying to navigate through it. Uh, tell me about this page of wands. You're ready for new beginnings, new endeavors here. Page of Wands and Magician, you have complete faith in the universe that you can do this, that you already know the, the, the link between the twin flames, right? So you know the whole thing, you've been enlightened, you've known it for a while. So I really feel like this person just newly found out, okay? And if they didn't, they're just like getting cough off, caught off guard about it, right? They may have known a little bit, but they're getting caught off guard to actually get thrown into the mix because the universe will, you know, it's all about divine timing, right? Detours, divine timing. And that's how the universe works because for you to come into union, you both need to be on the same page. You both have, need to have worked on yourself and learned those lessons to come together. Tell me the six of wands though. Yeah, death three of wands. So you know that a new stage will begin, right? You, I'm getting here that really you guys, on your side, you know Twin Flames. Like you've studied it or you've watched many videos on it. So you know that the separation has to happen at this time. And it's like, I almost feel like you're kind of checking up on them by um, possibly on their social media or watching them from afar here or even checking out tarot videos like you are right now just seeing, you know, where they're at in their journey, okay? 
but death three of three of wands with the six of wands. So you you're standing firm, uh, being victorious, not without a shadow of a doubt. You're just like you know what I know this is happening. Um, you know this is an ending of how things were, but how it's going to be is going to be much better. So it's like optimism at its best, right? And I think that's why we have the stay optimistic about your love life with separation here. Okay. <clears throat> Tell about the sun card. Eight of swords. Yeah. You know there's nothing that you can do. You know, this still worries you. It's still... Uh, it's... It, it does upset you because you wish you can help them. You wish you can, you know, be there for them. But they know, you know they have to do this on their own. Like, your hands are tied here. You know, and it's okay. Like, you still have an optimistic approach to it with the sun card. It's like you almost see, like, you know how they can get out of it. But you can only go so far, right? You can only lead them to the door. They have to walk through it. All right, let me see how they're... Um, what action they're going to take towards you in the month of December. Let me see. Okay, the wheel's turning. We've got the wheel of fortune. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So the wheel's turning. This person is going to start learning, okay, these lessons here. And we, because we have the page, you know, the page is an apprentice. They learn, they study, they find out all the information. Tell me the page of pentacles. Judgment, yeah. Why this is happening. Why this has to happen is what I just heard. Um, tell me about the wheel. But th they're going to be, um, you don't have to worry because they're, they're getting there, right? They're, they're going to find out learn right it's not going to be easy and it's going to leave you a little worried too sometimes but you ultimately above it know that this person can do it like you have complete faith in the universe that you guys will come into union like this is like really high optimism on your side and if it's not your side and you're in the other energy this is what this person is feeling and and doing actions right but i want to see what the challenge here was what happen to kind of seal your um seal the deal with resonating with you so you guys can go yeah that's mine okay the challenge five of wands page of cups <laughs> yeah so with the king of pentacles empress this person could be married right a lot of times uh in twin flame relationship we meet our twin and then it's always the wrong timing, right? Or it's like they're married and or both part people are married and there's th other things going on. You can't quite come into union. You can't quite be together, although you enjoy each other's company or um, engage in things together. Um, there's still that barrier sometimes. And that's kind of a catalyst, depending on your situation, that helps you lead into learning lessons and you know deciding what's best for you, right? But I see also some someone here was really fighting with themselves. And it looks like the masculine um, was fighting with themselves and uh, being a little immature with their emotions, okay? Not quite giving you what you needed. Not quite really stepping forth and they would just kind of be all over the place. And I also do see fighting here. And maybe somebody gaslighted the other one too. Okay, so I, because I do see a little bit, not too bad, but uh, a little bit of emotional manipulation. Um, yeah, I just heard. Yeah, they would think I would. They would make me think I was crazy. You know, so it's like the way that they would word things was not really great. Okay, they would be combative in a sense because, but very calm in the same way like manipulating okay like kind of like gaslighting right making you think you're crazy that your feelings what you're seeing is not really real okay does that have to be for everyone just some of you in your situation king of pentacles here stability right being able to provide um and and, and commit and they couldn't uh, and the, with the Empress here. I definitely feel like some of you are dealing with somebody that was married 
or had, was stuck in a situation where they had responsibilities or they had commitments if they weren't married. Okay, they really couldn't get out of here. All right, let me see what the outcome is here. Yes, 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 success at its best. Ace of Wands, Chariot, Three of Pentacles, okay? You were right all along. <clears throat> you know what's coming, right? So I see this more towards January, uh, to be honest, with the timing in the cards. I see this rolling over to January. They are progressing uh, in December, right? They're learning their lessons and they're understanding what's really going on with themselves and the situation. But... More towards January, I see Chariot, Three of Wands, Ace of or Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This is <clears throat> coming together, working together, understanding that this is what I want, Ace of Wands. There's a passion there, right? This is what I want. And Three of Pentacles is learning together, right? But this person will learn what they need to fix in their dark night of the soul, right? Their shadow self. They will dig deep and find out it's going to be hard but they're going to understand it by the time they come back to you with the chariot it's overcoming challenges it's overcoming the situation right and and being successful being victorious defeating that and i see you guys coming together and being able to i just seen two people having a conversation like well i learned this i learned this like you know it's being able to learn from each other all right okay any advice i can give we can give aries you can give aries sun moon rising venus six of swords knight of swords with the seven of cups stand firm in your conviction of what you have faith in at this moment if you have faith that you're coming back into union that this person is going to be successful on their journey and learn their lessons and you're gonna come back together then you stand on that okay if you if you feel the other way and you're like I love this person I know they're gonna be, do great and become a better person and understand who we are to each other but I I just want them as a friend or, you know, because they're, they're always, their energy will even always be around, even if you exile them out of your life, right? Um, but you're, you won't want to have a relationship with them. Whatever it is that you want, just stand firm. Stand firm in your truth. Stay optimistic. Move on with your life if you have to. Or accept that, you know, everyone has to learn their lessons and come back and, you know, unite and be forgiving and learn from each other right okay aries i'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for joining me i love you guys and thank you for sticking with me through this time it's been crazy right um but happy holidays and i wish you all the best light and love energy